Shalom, my name is Sigal. Welcome to the first lesson from E-Teacher Biblical. We're going to see our very first four letters in Hebrew, and then we're going to demonstrate them from Genesis, very first for three verses. The very first letters that we're going to see are a group which are called the guttural families. And what is so special about those four letters? Most of them, or all of them, are actually pronounced here in the guttural, especially traditionally uh, saying. But modern Israelis are trying to make it easy for themselves, so you can, you can go ahead and feel free to do it the same. And the very first letter you see here is Aleph. That's the name. Aleph is the name of the letter. It is pronounced as a glutal stop. <coughs> the next letter is Hey. Hey is very similar to the English hey, H, H. So you are going to pronounce it as <sighs> The next letter is the most trickiest one. Because modern Israeli are pronouncing it as <sighs> You hear it's coming from this area, <sighs> like rubbing your throat. <sighs> but then again, Bach would be an easy pronunciation for you to do, or do something that would not going to complicate your uh, articulation. The very, very final letter here is Ein. Ein, as for today, very much similar to Aleph. So you can pronounce it as, as uh, Israelis would tend to do. <coughs> now, why don't we see those four letters in Genesis, the three verses. I will read and try to find those letters within the verses that I read to you. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. Ve'ha'aretz hayta tohu vavohu ve'choshech al penei tehom ve'ruach Elohim merachefet al penei hamayim. ויאמר אלוהים, יהי אור, ויהי אור. So, you can see, in the very first word in Genesis, the letter Aleph. Can you find it? Then again, the second word, Bara, created, also contains the letter Aleph. And the very special word, Elohim, which is God, starts with Aleph. So why don't you keep looking for the other letters? And I'll meet you again back in lesson number two. Shalom. <laughs>